Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Devils United. Just a quick video just to confirm the announcement on loan of Jack Butland, goalkeeper of Crystal Palace and he is joining Manchester United on loan until the end of the season. Just wanted to give my thoughts on that. Um, we did originally have the Brafka from Newcastle on loan um, on the first half of this season. Uh, Newcastle has uh, called up the Brafka back to the Newcastle first team. Um, am I glad the Brafka's gone? Yes. But Jack Butland, very weird signing, if you ask me. I understand Dean Henderson is on loan. Um, but for me, I don't really understand on why we went and got another goalkeeper on loan um we have tom heaton and tom heaton has not yet had a single minute in the premier league for uh manchester united he has not he played about half a game in the champions league under ralph rangnick but apart from that tom heaton hasn't had any game time in his pre-season um even though Tom Heaton is younger, I still think Tom Heaton's a great shot stopper and we Jack Butland, um he's had numerous of different loan spells. He's been at Birmingham City, um, he's been at Stoke for a few years. He, he must have had around five, six loan spells and he's twenty nine. Um that is one thing that raises alarm bells for me. Another thing that raises alarm bells is that Crystal Palace has only used him 10 times since 2020. I understand that he is a backup, but he's going to be extremely rusty. So I don't really see why we need to get another ba another backup goalkeeper to back up De Gea. When we've already, I'd say we've already got a perfectly good backup strike, a backup, a backup goalkeeper. I think we're wasting our money on a backup goalkeeper when we could look at got doing actually investing that money elsewhere in a strike or into a right back i know people want to keep wan but that's another story for another day um <sighs> there's only one positive with jack butler compared to tommy Eaton and that's the age literally that is the only thing but You've looked at over the years with older goalkeepers. They've worked at Manchester United, minus De Gea. Look at Van der Sar, Peter Smeichel. They've come at their older ages. And I genuinely don't think Butland is going to play many games at Manchester United. Um, I think he may potentially play against Charlton um, in the uh, Carabao Cup on Tuesday. And I think that would be a great opportunity for him because uh, we allowed the Brafka minutes in the Carabao Cup and the guy looked like he played volleyball uh, that's as simple as that and um I, you can allow your goalkeepers to play every game I don't like too much rotation in goalkeepers as, as it is um apart from that Charlton game depending who we get in the FA Cup if we of course beat uh Everton tonight who where is Jack Butland realistically going to play? Because he is not going to play in Barcelona, in the Barcelona game against Manchester United. He's not going to play any Champions League games, as a, a Ten Hag will be using De Gea in all the Premier League games, unless he gets injured. Um, I, even if we get someone such as... Um, even if we get a lower, te lower league team... In the Europa League, Tenag isn't going to take the risk. He's taking these tr tr trophies seriously, so he is not going to uh, rotate Jack Butland with David De Gea, who's played every single game in the Europa League so far. I cannot see it. So I think it's a very weird appointment. Um, of course, I wish him all the best. It was a great message. He's happy to join Manchester United um, with a great coach, uh, with a great coach, uh, coach and philosophy thing, but. Very, very weird appointment. Um, I would, if we needed a goalkeeper, because I think Dean Anderson is leaving, wait till the summer and then we can assess the hair if we are extending his contract and look for either a backup who is like Sergio Romero or we literally go out and get a first choice goalkeeper, depending on what the hair needs. Because we do need a goalkeeper, but 
a loanee for the rest of the season who hasn't played no games is not the answer, I'm afraid. So, that's my thoughts on Jack Butland. Um, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the appointment of Jack Butland. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.